Hello and welcome to the fourth and final video on how to create a flexible feed. Today we'll show you how to create your output and finalize the feed. First let's look at creating the output. Again we need to give our output a name. We also need to name the file. This is so we know where to put it in an AFTP. Next we'll be able to select the output method. Remember that the format of the file will be what you previously selected when creating the product mapping. By selecting email, we will be asked to provide an email address. The HTTP requested will provide a return URL on request, and then we have FTP. The FTP inbound and FTP outbound. On an outbound request, you will need to put in the FTP server address, path, and provide a user ID and password. When creating an FTP inbound, this information will be given to you and you will be able to collect from the FTP file whenever you wish. In this case we're going to go with the FTP inbound and we'll save that output. You need to make sure you're happy with the information you've provided and then click OK. The output name is now available and we can edit or disable this whenever we wish. Now to finish off we will go back to the feeds and within here our demo feed is available. We want to edit this and now we have the feed name, the feed mapping which we selected the CSV output, the price mapping which was demo. We can now select the output to be demo. Alternate brand. This is the brand that replaces the target brand from the target components website and again in this case we just want to call the brand demo. The next one is included the extended range. This includes products in the Service Plus extended range and we would like to take them. Now we have the next run date and time. So we would like this to go just before midnight. And last of all we have the repeat intervals. How often we want this to repeat. So we wish to set up a new feed every 24 hours. And now we can update our feed. And that's it. Our feed is now created and we will get that from the FTP every 24 hours. Thank you for joining us for this flexible feed and join us for some more how-to videos later in the series.